But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. As holes. The prophet As tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. You know, uh, uh, Islam is a very uh, funny religion. Uh, Muslims are very proud people about being Muslims. Uh, the second you ask them questions, they go angry. Uh, the second you quote for them what their prophet says, uh, they deny it. And the second you try to understand what they believe in, they say to you one answer, Allah knows best. We made a previous video, which is uh, asking a question, did Allah created the earth in six days, or seven, or eight days? If you did not watch it, it is still there, you can go and watch it. And actually I noticed people don't... Uh, watch videos if there is no nice uh, picture like in the front of the video the thumb which is you know i understood you know i understand people like uh, human beings like an insect you know he like uh, some trap photoshop so he can watch something or to attract him to something but we are you know as a christians we are not into traps and we don't judge the book by the cover if you look at the Quran, you will see the Muslims, how they decorate their book, uh, how much money they spend on it. Uh, there is a frame around every verse, and inside the verse there is decoration too, and it's a lot of, uh, a lot of decor decoration. But the second you speak the language, you will see how stupid this book is. It doesn't matter how much decoration you add, it's still stupid. And today we are going to explore another side of the stupidity of the author of the Quran. Uh, in the Quran, <clears throat> if we little, do a little search in the search engine of this website, I just type, you know, six days. You will find the Quran repeating many places that Allah, He created the earth and the heaven in six days. Chapter 7, verse number 54. Chapter 10, verse number 3. Chapter 11, verse number 7. Chapter 25, verse number 59. Chapter 34, verse number 32, verse number 4, etc. Uh, so the Quran confirmed uh, that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. Then when we ask the Muslims about many weird stuff in this book about, okay, Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. First of all, let us see how the Muslims encounter the atheist challenge. You see, the Muslims lately, uh, they try to make Islam fit with science. To the point they even, they say uh, Islam and the Quran and the Big Bang, they teach the same thing. But as you see, I mean, the Big Bang did not say what the Quran is saying. As an example, the Quran confirmed that Allah created first the earth, and then he created the heaven. Let us see. <clears throat> read together
If there is any Muslim in the chat, feel free to tell us which one Allah he created first. The space, the sky, or the heaven, I mean, the, or the earth. If you go in the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 29, it says that Allah he created for you all things that are on earth. The translation here is saying moreover, that's a false translation. In Arabic it says thumma, and thumma mean and then after that. If you change the translator, you will find different words. Remember, always Muslims, they don't give you really any honest translation, never. Because honest translation is very dangerous for Islam. We just change the translation. We change the Muslim. They are Muslims, all of them. It is he who created for you everything on earth. Then, see, not moreover, then turn to the heaven. Then who? Then he, Allah, turned to the heaven. So Allah, in the Quran, confirmed in chapter 2, verse number 29, that everything was in the earth is created before he touched anything in the heaven. Do you see it? Does it say everything on earth? People, Muslims, Christians, Jews, Hindus. Does it say everything on earth? It says that, right? And is this, this is the verse given to us supposedly just 14 centuries ago? The answer is yes, right? Okay. So as long as given to us 14 centuries ago, this verse is talking to us. Obviously it is, right? Supposedly this is a message for mankind through the man, his name is Muhammad, Aka Qathim, who changed his name to Muhammad. And he is saying to you people, it is he who created for you and do you see the word for you? So obviously, obviously, he's speaking to us, for you. And not only that, for us the creation was. Which is very weird, because in different verse, uh, in different place, there's a hadith Muhammad he claimed that Allah told him that if not you, Muhammad, I created nothing. So here the word uh, uh, for you, it might be confusing for those who speak uh, just English, because for you it can be for, for individual, in English, it can be for a group. In Arabic, no. The word here in you is you is used. It says, "Huwa alladhi khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jamian." Lakum is for many, not for one. So this is not a message for Muhammad. This is a message for all mankind. So Allah, and this is defeat the statement of Muhammad saying that Allah created everything just for him. And you see why we say Muhammad is a false prophet. He could not even maintain the story. The same story, he could not maintain it. So it is he, and again Allah, the one who is writing the Quran, obviously cannot be Allah speaking because he keeps saying it is he. Well, the one who wrote the Quran, he forgot to switch. He should say, I, the one who created for you. So it is he who created for you everything in earth, on earth. Then he went to the heaven and he made them seven heaven. So what we understand from this verse, that everything in earth was completely created before Allah completed the heaven. And if a Muslim will say, oh, no, no, no. This is, does not mean that, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. We can go and read the interpretation, shall we? Chapter 2, verse number 29. And this is one of the terrorist uh, website, the King of Jordan. And the reason I call him terrorist, you know, terrorist is anyone who terrify you or try to terrify you if you don't agree with him. And all those Middle Eastern kings and leaders, they are terrorists. If you mention one word against them, you and your family will disappear. And then Allah proceed mentioned, proceeded and mentioned is a blessing to them. Okay. Saying he is who created for you and made the suburb to you that or an earth of beasts, plants, and other things, as a blessing from him. Then he turned to the heaven, i.e. he turned to the 
uh, to the creation of the heaven. Do you see it, guys? So this is Tafsir ibn Abbas. This is not me, Christian Prince, uh, trying to uh, give you a meaning of the Quran. No, I'm just reading what Muslims believe. All right? So everything on earth was created. If you don't like, by the way, Ibn Abbas, who is your prophet, Muhammad, he mentioned him as to be the, the ink of the nation. He is the only one he prayed for him, actually, to be the one who can explain the Quran. Looks like your prior, your prophet did not make a good job by choosing him if you don't like him. We can go to the Sirah Jalali. I'm just showing you here in this website, they have only two English translation. And we can go to Ibn Kathir. It is he who created for you that all that in earth, that is the earth, and all that is in it, in it, so that you may benefit from and learn the lesson from it. And then, after creating the earth, he turned uh, to that as he made his object in heaven. And he leveled him there, you know, he leveled himself on the throne. Now the Muslim here, they don't dare to discuss how this happened. But this is a different topic. Uh, so what we see here is a confirmation that the earth is created before uh, the heaven. Let us see if there is another translation, I mean, uh, in English. I don't know, those are, exist? Let us see. <clears> Tafsir <throat> At-Tustari? What is that? Maybe they add more English translation. Oh, there's nothing. Because as I know, there's only two English translation. Okay, so here we have uh, Kashani Tafsir. Okay. It is he who created for you that all on earth. In other words, the lower aspect, which is the word, word of element. It is in uh, uh, like in eternity, sense, constitute, the origin, point. Look like this is a new uh, adding too much words. We want we want the the cheese of it. Where is the cheese? Okay. Too much talk until now. I don't see. In reality, the lower aspect uh, word is the body and its element, a rank and a creation, a created. Uh, uh. I mean, this guy is uh, adding too much potatoes. Until now, he's not even explained the verse. Let us see the front, idiot. Okay, Tafsir al Kushari. Al Kushari? That is nice. It is he who created for you that in the earth, and he made the create all the created things subject to the human, meaning the uh, obtained benefit from it. Okay. And then he dwell, you know, after he dwell in the earth. Uh, life under the sky are guided and by the stars and benefit, etc. So this is like, it's not really interpretation, it's just saying nothing. Nothing here will, will, uh, will give us the answer as the previous two interpret. Let us try Ibn Kathir. Shall we? Chapter 2, verse number 29. You see, we are trying to show you as many as we can what the Muslims really believe so we can laugh together because later they will say, oh, Christian Prince is not showing you uh, what really we believe. No, I'm showing everything. Anything I can, I can find, I will put it in the screen. And remember, everything we are showing you, this is Muslim translation, this is Muslim publication. We have nothing to do with it. This is not a Christian website. So this is Ibn Kathir. It is he who created for you all that on earth, then he... Stawa, which means he leveled himself up to the heaven. Um, and then let us go down to see what does that mean exactly. Um, okay. Meaning he turned toward the heaven. So after he finished the earth, he went toward the heaven. Okay. And then he made them seven heavens. Okay. The beginning of the creation, Ibn Kathir has given us more details. This ayah 229 explained in details in Surah as a sajda, where Allah, he said, Allah created for you the earth in two days. In two days. And then, after that, he put mountains and blessing in four days, like everything, all creation in four days. Then he went to the sky and he made, the sky was a smoke at that moment. 
and then he made the sky seven skies in two days. The total is eight days. The Muslim to fix that, they say no. The two days, the first two days, the first two days of a creation was to create the earth. When Allah, he says that he created the earth and the heaven in four days, sorry, he, uh, uh, he created mountains, etc. in four days. Uh, this is including the two days, the first two days. First of all, that will not make any sense. Why? Because then, then the verse is stupid. Uh, and I will show you why. This is the verses Ibn Kathir is reading for us. Uh, so Allah, he said, supposedly, do verily disbelieve in him, those who created, uh, who created the earth in, the, uh, in two days. It says it clearly, created the earth. Two days to create the earth. And then the verse after it, it says, wa ja'ala wa is continue of the war. He, and then he placed therein on the earth for mountains. So two days to create the earth. And now he starts telling us what he did in the other four days to put in the top of the earth. So according to Islam, Allah, he placed mountains in the top of the earth. It's in front of you. He placed mountains. He placed mountain. In above it, and then he blessed with the measured things like you know trees and uh, grass, plants, whatever. And all of those is done in four days. The Muslim now they try to fix this problem here. They say, i.e., all these four days were equal in length. That is the very funny. I mean, even this one need explanation. If he says four days, if I say four kilos, well, obviously the first kilos is the same as the second kilo. I mean, do you see this? Do you see how serious this, the Quran is so clear that we need to explain by bracket? So, uh, so Allah, all you see here in the bracket is not exist in the Quran. So Allah, He created the earth in two days, everything on top of the earth in four days, and then after that He went to the heaven and He made seven sky. So obviously the verse is saying clearly that the earth is finished first. As you see, we have trees, we have mountains, we have everything. And then the, 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 the sky was a smoke. Let us go back to Ibn Kathir and see what this smoke is about. Smoke, hmm, interesting. Maybe something scientifically, because the Muslim, they will make science of it, just trust me. Let us see what smoke is about. If we go and, uh, and look for the smoke, we will be able to smoke Allah in two seconds. Read with me carefully. Here it says, this is Ibn Kathir, again, not me. Uh, he says, i.e., all those four days were equal in length between two brackets. This is a translation, by the way. This is not Ibn Kathir. Do you see this bracket? This is not in Ibn Kathir. For all, this is why they put it between two brackets. For all those who ask about the creation, he Allah, he lived in himself to heaven. Look, at even the Muslim, they don't translate the word istawa. They don't even dare. Because they don't know what, what does it mean. Like he went istawa to the heaven. What does that mean? He lived in himself to the heaven. What, what does that mean? They don't know. So they don't dare to talk about it. Uh, when it was a smoke, he said uh, to it, and to the earth come back, both of you willingly or unwillingly. Uh, now, what is the smoke here? What is the point of this smoke? The heaven, there was a smoke. Where the smoke is coming from? Was the heaven was a smoke? Or there was a smoke? If we go to Ibn Kathir, continue on the same page, we will find, it says, it is he who created for you all that on earth. Allah created the earth before the heaven. Thank you very much. Finally, we have somebody, he gave us the answer directly. Do you see it? Allah created the earth before the heaven. So the Muslim, they lie when they say that Islam and Quran agree with the Big Bang, because this is not what the Big Bang says. The Big Bang people, they say that the earth created millions of years, maybe billions, I don't know how many they say, they claim, after the space. And actually, it doesn't make sense to create this, the earth before the space, because where you are going to put the earth? Shouldn't you create a space for it? 
It's like you create a chair, but there is no space for the chair. But in order to make a chair, it has to be contained in a space. So the, the, the interpretation now is so clear that Allah created the earth before the heaven. And then he created, and, and then when he created the earth, smoke brushed out of it. Take, take a note. So when the Muslim, they tried to make a scientific miracle of this is what is smoke. It turned to be that Allah, because he was cooking the earth, and the smoke was coming from the earth, rust out of it. From where? From the earth. Then he went to the heaven, and then, and this is what means, the heaven was a smoke. When it was a smoke, because the, there is nothing in the heaven, the smoke is coming from the earth. And this is more stupid, actually, because how there is no space, and there is a smoke in the space, <laughs> anyway, so obviously Islam uh, have a different understanding for the word sky. You know, there is no sky. So what the word sky mean exactly? Smoke. There was no. The sky was a smoke, and the smoke is coming from the earth. But but that mean the sky is not exist because this is still the earth. This is the smoke of the earth. So if we continue here, and, and then he says he made them seven, he made them seven heaven. Uh, all right. So look what happened here. We have a confirmation from the mouth of the Muhammadan that the earth is created before the heaven. Now we will go to the title. The title is Allah never created Adam. Remember that. Correct? Allah never created Adam. This is a, a, a Muhammadan. He made a comment, and actually I pinned his page. Imagine. I did pin a Muslim message in my video because I found it priceless to laugh at Islam. He said, the Hadith says, days is not the same as the days in the Quran. The proof is that hadith is just not even mentioned, the creation of the heaven. He's talking about the hadith I'm talking about, which we will show you in a second. <clears throat> so it's not just, it's not even mentioned the creation of the heaven. It was created in two days. So now this guy is saying to us, let us go to the hadith he is talking about, which is in the previous video. Switch to Arabic. So he's saying this hadith here that does not even mention the creation of the heaven. And he is right. Read carefully. But he is a, he is a foolish in the same time. He is a right foolish. So he's trying to fix it and he make it more blind. So he said, if we go here back in the comment, Read carefully again. He did not mention, he did not mention the creation of the heaven. Let me highlight in case the text is so small for you. He did not mention, he did not even mention the creation of the heaven. Do you see it? This is not my statement. This is his statement. It was created in two days. Okay. Let us go back to the hadith and love together. Allah the Exalted is, you know, the Exalted is Exalted, what you can do about it. That's it, you know. And the proof of that is small. The Glorious, the most merciful, the most aggressive, the most full, created the clay on Saturday. Now remember, the Muslim, we just, you know, I will show you an article actually trying to explain this. They claim that when Allah says the word they, he don't mean they, he means sex period. Not only that, the Muslim they claim that when Allah He said they, He said it's equal to one thousand year. One day is equal to one thousand years. So six days is six thousand. Let us go to the article which the Muslim they wrote for us. Let me see where it is.
Here we go. Uh, the name of the article that, uh, or the website, the Thinking Muslim. That is that is not that's fun. A Thinking Muslim. Okay. So was the universe created just in six days? This is the question. This is the article. Then if you go there, they will say to you, no, because simply Allah, he said in the Quran, that, uh, yes, he said Allah, he created the earth and the heaven in six days, but he said in different verses, chapter 70, verse number four, the angels and the spirit ascend to him during a day, the extent of which 50,000 years. And now there's other verse says that the day for Allah is equal to 1,000 years. The Muslim they say that the first verse, chapter 70, verse number four, about 50,000, this is in the day of judgment. The chapter 22, the 1,000 year equal to one day of Allah, this is about now, our time. But you see here, the Muslims, they show again their ignorance, trying to defend their cult. Because now you make it 6,000 years or you make it six days, nothing change. Listen carefully. You make it 6,000 years or 6 million years or 6 hours. Nothing change. Why? Because now we are talking about which one is created first. Do you see what I'm talking about? We are talking about which one is created first. So you want to play with the time and you say, oh, we are confused now. Maybe it's 50,000 years, maybe it's 1,000 years. And the article here want to lead you that you have to believe it's a thousand year. If we go with the 1,000 year, that's me, Muhammad is a liar. Why? Because the hadith we are reading, it says Allah created the dust in Saturday. Do you see the word Saturday? So the Muslim, they throw their prophet under the bus. And then he created the mountains in Sundays. And he created the trees on Monday. And he created things in time and labor in Tuesday. And then he created the light in Wednesday. So Allah is calling it 1,000 year Wednesday. When Muhammad is talking to the Muslims and he said uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Sunday, He's talking about a thousand of years? Or he's talking about days they knew? When he was, I say to you Saturday, Allah created the earth in Saturday, the dirt in Saturday. Well, people are listening, Saturday is Saturday. If you want to say a thousand years, he will say a thousand years. He said Saturday, this is our days. And not only that, things getting more fishy. Why? Because here, if we continue reading, it says that Allah created Adam Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. So you see all this long article is showing us nothing but stupidity. Do those even people who they, you know, this, uh, this guy who wrote this article, it's a video actually. His name is uh, uh, Nu'man Khan. Do this, this man is, he claimed to be a scholar, you know? Is that what the scholars they do? Don't you know what your prophet says? He's the same as all those, you know, uh, liars. Like, uh, uh, Zakir How come the Quran said Allah created the heaven in six days? Brother Sitar, Allah, he said days, yes, but he meant six period. Six period. What six period? So when Muhammad, he says Saturday, Saturday was a period of millions of years? Was a thousand years Saturday? And when Muhammad, he says a Friday afternoon, Afternoon. Do you know what noon mean? A hey Muslim, do you know what noon mean? Afternoon. Bad al Asr. It's in the front of you in Arabic. If you don't know, if you don't like the English one, it's not my translation anyway. So how far the stupidity can go? How far they try to duct tape 
the, 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 the stupidity of Muhammad's statement that why you don't want to accept that your prophet is stupid? That's it. And you are stupid more than him when you try to duct tape saying this is a thousand year when your prophet is saying he created Adam Friday afternoon. Now things are getting even more complicated. This Muslim, which we showed you his comment, he made another comment, which is even more hilarious. And this is his comment, saying, He is now answering me after I post a comment for him. No, it's mean. He blew the soul of Adam, and we are talking about Adam created the Friday afternoon. He says, he blew, blew the soul of Adam in him. Most scholars say it took 40 years to create Adam. Please take a note. It took how many years? This is not my statement. This is not a Christian prince. This is a guy, he called himself Islamic Defender. Islamic Defender became Hummus, now Falafel. So look what happened now. As long as it takes Allah 40 years, and then Muhammad, he says, a Friday afternoon. Who is the stupid now? How a Friday afternoon became 40 years? In different hadith, it says that Allah, he created Adam on Friday. Let's find it. Let's go to this one. Here we go. Read carefully. And I will, I will not show you a hadith. The Muslims, they might say it's ta'if. I will show you only the one it is sahih. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let us go up. Let us go here. This is a Sahih Hadith. It says, Abu Huraira reported that uh, uh, Allah Messenger said, the best day which uh, the sun has risen is a Friday, which means the best day for mankind. Why? On it, Adam was created. On it, he was brought into paradise. On it, he was expelled from it. Look like everything happened on Friday, you know, that's it. Friday. I mean, how nice this day is, if this is the day he was kicked out from paradise. That's a nice day. Okay, that's a good luck. And, uh, uh, and the judgment day will not happen until Friday come. <laughs> so, as you see, Muhammad, he confirmed again and again that Adam was created in Friday. And Muhammad is not saying to the Muslims that this Friday is 1,000 year. He said the Friday. Now we go back to the comment of this guy. What he said, it took, it took Allah 40 years to create uh, Adam. And this is actually exists in many Islamic books. As an example, this is Ibn Jawzi, volume number eight, page number one, four, two, many books we can show in this reference. And there is no need to look for it to, for me, as long as the Muslim themselves, they are referring to it, that's mean they agree with it. And as you see, even he says, and all the scholars agree with it. And actually he's causing Ibn, Ibn Jawzi, the same book I'm showing you on the screen. So we are in total agreement now that this is a Sahih Hadith. But look what happened now. Things is getting even more, more ugly for Muhammad. 
So Allah, actually let's go here because he translated the hadith for us. Thank you very much for the translation. That's nice of you. Thank you, my friend. He, Adam, and the time that he came upon was 40 years when he was shaped out from a clay. Yet the spirit was not breathed into him. This is the opinion of the majority. So this is the Muslim majority believe that Allah, he made Adam as a statues from a clay. It took him 40 years before he do breathe into him. Let's go back to the hadith and love together. Here it says the following. Not only it says a Friday, it says a Friday afternoon, i.e. between the night, like between in the last hours, between the day and the night, like before the sunset. If we go to the Quran, we are going to explain even more. There's a verse in the Quran that says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ ajula." What does that mean? A human being was ever hasty. Chapter 17, verse number 11. What does that mean exactly? Let us go to Ibn Kathir. And again, in case you missed the reference, chapter 17, verse number 11. 17, 11. All right. Now we go back here. We choose 17. As you see, we are showing you everything from their books. We are not making our own interpretation. This is not ours. This is theirs. So this is chapter uh, uh, 17, 11. It says here, and the man he was ever hasty, Salman al-Farisi report from Ibn Abbas, and Ibn, and Ibn Abbas reported the story of Adam. When he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from his head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed, Hachoo! Hachoo! And said, Alhamdulillah, look, amazing, Adam, he speak Arabic. Right away, Arabic does not exist at that time, but he speak Arabic, Alhamdulillah. I mean, what do you want more? Things can happen. Things happen, my friend. So he sneezed and he's Alhamdulillah. What the heck is that? I mean, the guy is not even created yet. And then Allah said, Allah said to the one is not even finished yet. Look, look, there's a conversation happening before Adam is being finished. So Adam, he said, Alhamdulillah, it's you. It's you. And then Allah said to him, may your Lord have mercy on you, O Adam. And what amazing here is that Adam, he knew that Allah is talking to himself, talking to him. How you know that your name is Adam now? You don't, you know, the guy, he don't even, his, his, his soul is not is there yet. And now we have a conversation happening. And Adam is sneezing, saying, Alhamdulillah. And Allah is saying to him, may your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. I don't know then who is Allah. If he is saying, may your Lord have mercy on you. Isn't you Allah? What do you mean may? Are you making like a, a, a prayer, supplication to somebody, may your Lord? The story is stupid, but you know, this is Muhammad, what do you expect? When, he, when it reached his eyes, look at this now, things are getting more complicated. The spirit reached his eyes. Take a note, please. If you don't understand, it says here, when it reached his brain, his sneeze, isn't it the brain, like electric shot. And then he said, Alhamdulillah, and then, when he, when it reached his eyes, hold on Muslims, 
Allah, he breathed into Adam. He breathed to Adam from where? Go back a little bit. It says, when his soul was breathed into him, Allah breathed into Adam where? It says here, and enter his body from his head downward. Read with me carefully. Based on this, Allah, he put like, you know what this thing you call it? You want you suck the juice with it? Uh, forgot the word. You know, he put a, a pipe in the head of uh, Adam and he breathed into it. What the heck is that? And then he breathed downward his head and now it reached his eyes. What happened when it reached his eyes? He opened them, brother. And when it reached his body and his lips, and limbs, he start to stare at them because now remember the eyes is working. Mm. Uh, just before, before we you know continue here. So how Adam, he just in the process of a creation, and the soul did not reach his because as you see, they are talking about it as if it reaching like like a download file, you know, and the file is spread. So it reached his eyes, it reached his brain. So we are talking about about body part. So when it reached his body brain, he sneezed and he's Alhamdulillah. Okay. But it did not reach his tongue yet. Was the tongue alive? Remember, it reached the eyes after the brain. And the tongue is down, is not above the eyes, unless at that time Adam he used to be have his mouth in the top of his eyes. So how the tongue speak, and yet the, the supposedly the spirit. As you see, that what, what the story is saying, that he could not even move his body, he could not move his limbs. So before the spirit arrive to the body part, this body part is dead still, it's just a clay. Do you understand? Let us, let us read together again. When, when, the, when the spirit arrived to his brain, he sneezed and he said, Allah, uh, uh, Alhamdulillah. We will let it go, but what happened after, that when it reached his eyes, he started, he opened them. So when it reached, when it reached, that body part start in action. Do we agree? When, uh, when he opened his eyes, he started looking at his body, limbs, his feet, his hands, etc. He started to stare at them in wonder, like, what the heck is that? He wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not. So take a note, those feet and those parts cannot be moved unless the soul reached there. So how his tongue was working without the soul reaching the, the, the tongue yet. So the story is made by a, by, by a foolish, stupid man. And you have to believe in a foolish man, and otherwise they will cut your neck. But what's important for us here, when Allah he created Adam, he made the clay, and now he breathed into Adam. Our friend, the Muslim volunteer, thank you for translating, he confirmed that Adam was a clay for 40 years, as you see. Adam was a clay for 40 years. If we go back to the chapter 2, where it says that Allah, he created everything in the earth before he went to the heaven to work in the heaven and make them seven heaven. Everything in earth, right? Okay. Here we are talking about what? We are talking about a Friday, still a Friday. And now we have a surprise. Before it reached his feet, but he could not, he could not move them. So he said, Oh Allah, make it happen before the night comes. Bingo. So what is going to come? The night. So how they lie and they say it's 1,000 year, how Saturday became 1,000 year, how Friday afternoon became 1,000 year, and then we find that this is a Friday afternoon, and Adam is afraid that the sun will set and Allah did not finish his job. 
I'm not going to ask how stupid this story is, like how even Adam knew that the sun is going to set, if this is his first second of creation. How Adam knew about the sun? The guy, he just opened his eye. So you see here that all of this is just a stupid story. Nothing match with nothing. Now, that will take us even to a bigger problem. We are not done. The laundry is getting bigger. If we go in the Quran, we will find that Allah, supposedly, he is, you know, he is exposing the Christians. You know, the Christians, they believe in Jesus as God. <laughs> you know, let us see what Allah said about that. The Quran says that the similarity of Adam is the same as Jesus, or similarity of Jesus, same as Adam. Allah, he said to him, be and he was. Read it. Take a note. Chapter 3, verse number 59. It turned to be that Allah, it took him centuries to create Adam based in the Muslims' articles. It turned to be that it take Allah 40 years just to finish the clay statues of Adam. If you don't believe me, this is the Muslim respond to me. This is not my response. If this guy is in the chat, I can open Skype for you. You can call me. Let me know. So he Adam, and the time came upon him was 40 years when he was shaped out from a clay. Yet the spirit was not breathed into him. So now we have even additional time for breathing the spirit. If 40 years took to make the clay, how many years took him to breathe, to breathe? And why Allah is so slow? And how Allah took him 40 years and this is not even the whole creation of Adam. This is half of it, because this is the clay. And yet in the Quran, he says that Allah, uh, Jesus, is the same as Adam. Allah, he said to him, be, and he was. Then if we go to different verses in the Quran, we will find how even more silly proof against the Quran itself. How? The Quran confirmed that Allah, he created uh, Adam by his two hands. Actually, there is a, there is a video in a Muslim uh, uh, channel who they supposedly fight Christian prince. They agree and they use it when they are debating a Muslim sheikh that Allah, he says, I created you by my two hands. Let us open the verses and love. In chapter 38, verse number 75, it says, Allah, he said to Iblis, and this is additional proof that Islam is false, because if Allah, if Arabic is the word of the Quran, how the name of Shaitan became Iblis, you let me know. Hey Muslim, think about Iblis, search it, where the word Iblis coming from. Uh, and then, he said to Iblis, this is the word is used in Arabic here, not Shaitan, Iblis, what prevented you from bowing down yourself to the one whom I have created with my both hands. And by the way, if you change the translation, the word hands disappear. Actually, one of you once, uh, uh, I don't know who, sent to me and long, uh, he said, uh, it was very embarrassing for me. I was showing a Muslim the verse about this, and he opened the Quran, and he said, you are lying. Nowhere it says my two hands, you know, it's not right for uh, for you as a Christian uh, to lie. I really felt so, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, so embarrassed and uh, how, how why you do that just to gain a point you claim that the Muslim to do that you know so he like he's the guy he's cool me he showered me he's upset but as you see I'm being honest that's what it says you can take the Arabic here my two hands And this is the Muslim translation. Let us see what translation is that. Because usually they don't. Ah, Hilali and Khan. Takbir. Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. So with my both two hands. So now we notice that the verse is saying that Jesus is the same as Adam, created by same being. It is impossible to be true, for this is a total contradiction. Allah, he used his both hands in order to create Adam. Now, if we ask a question which will make more poo-poo, did Allah create Adam by saying B before he used his hands or after using his hands? I would like to see Muslims giving me the answer in the comment section later because we will die more laughing. If Allah, he used the word B before he used his hands, that means the word B did nothing. Correct? If Allah used the word B, B Adam, the verse says, Allah, he said to Adam, B, and he was. I mean, very simple. He B, he was. But here it says, he created him by his two hands. So if Allah said B, before he used his hands, that means the word B is useless, nothing happened. Otherwise, why are you using your hands? Why are you getting your hands dirty? Especially he created him from clay. And actually, even our friend here, he confirmed it's a clay, and the Quran confirmed that. Hmm? Read it carefully. He shaved him in the form, he was shaped in the form of a clay. Do you see it? So Allah, he used his hand, making his hand dirty in the clay. So why he need to do so if he say B and he was? So now the first conclusion we find that the word B did not do anything if Allah, he said it, before he used his hand. Let us go to the second option. Maybe Allah, he used the word B after he used his both hands. But that is even more stupid. Because if now you are using your hand and the guy is finished by making him by your hand. Listen carefully. Here it says, I created with both of my hands. So the whole creation done by the hands. So the other verse speaking about and breathing to him is a, is a lie because unless Allah, he breathed from his hands. But the Muslim, they confirm that Allah have a mouth. If we go to the Quran, we will find the word nafakha. Nafakha is to blow from the mouth. Try not to laugh. In chapter 15, verse number 59, it says, When I have formed him, and I breathe into him. Okay. The Muslim using the word breathe. What to breathe mean? It is an air coming out from inside you. So inside Allah is there is an empty space, so there's air. And he breathed, he breathed, not the angel, not anyone. He is the one who breathed into him of my spirit. But the Muslim they say Allah has no spirit. So what does that mean? More stupid mystery. Because if the spirit is Jibreel, that's mean the one who created Adam is Jibreel. If Allah has no spirit, how he created him from breathe from his spirit, that's mean Allah, he have a ball. 
of a spirit, you know, like maybe a jar of a spirit. And uh, this jar, uh, you know, is full of spirit. Allah, he put his mouth in this jar. He put his mouth, or maybe he suck it. And then he took it and he blew it into Adam. Because the Muslim, they confirm that Allah has no spirit. Correct? So he blew, he blew the, uh, in Adam from where? And especially the word here, it says, I breathe. In order to breathe, you have to inhale. Exhale. I breathe. So something coming from inside Allah. That's mean there's a spirit is inside Allah, but Allah has no spirit. So Allah, he was swallowing a spirit. Or there's a spirit, which is not Allah, live inside Allah. And if you are a Muslim later, leave your comments so we can laugh. And I might, I might even pin it the same as I did to this person. So look what happened now. Allah, he needed two hands to create Adam. Allah, he claimed he created Adam by saying B. Yet Allah, he need his two hands, and after he used his two hands, and then he breathed into him. Hmm. Very interesting. That will take us to the conclusion that the word be is not even the, 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 the power of a bee, the one to make honey, the honey bee, because this is useless bee. And Allah could not refute the Christians in anything. Because neither Jesus, neither Adam was created according to the Quran by saying B. If we go and check how Allah created Adam, uh, Jesus supposedly, how how that happen? Let us go and read and love together. Allah he blow into Mary vagina. The Muslim they try to fix it. And look what they, they, guys, look what they put. Look what they put. He breathed into her sleeves. You see, you see those, those things? Because the word in Arabic, it says, Farjaha. Farj in Arabic, you can go to any dictionary. Farj means vagina. Suddenly, the word vagina became a sleeve. Now I know why my friend, he'd never have kids. Look like he is doing it in the wrong place. He is doing it in his inner sleeve. I better call him right now. So Allah breathed into her sleeves, and that means the sleeves will deliver Jesus, not Mary. I mean, do you see how they try to fix the duct tape? You see, all of this is additional. Where is where the word sleeve coming from? If Allah wanna say sleeves, he says sleeves. He did not say sleeve, he say vagina. And if Allah, he breathed into the sleeves, that means the mother of Jesus is a sleeve. It's not Mary. Look like Allah, he breathed in the, the wrong, you know. So maybe Allah, he breathed, breathed into the sleeve when Mary was taking shower. Allah, he put his mouth there. So all of this is nothing but a collection of stupidity. And as you see, even here, Isa, supposedly, which is Muslim, they claim he is Jesus, which is not true. We don't have someone whose name is Isa. He wasn't created by saying B. Allah, he has to use his mouth. Now, there's one more thing we need to add. If Allah took him, according to those Muslims who are making articles, years and years to finish Adam, how a woman, she can give birth in nine months, sometimes seven months. Which one is more powerful? So when Allah, he said uh, to Adam, be and he was, and yet we find out that it took him 40 years just to finish the clay, and God knows how many after just to finish the breathing and downloading the spirit inside him, as we see in Ibn Kathir, which is very funny. And then we find that a woman, she is, a, she is a weak person. She can have a baby in nine months. So I say, 
that obviously Muhammad cannot be a person coming from God, and his God did not create Adam, because all of this is a, like in the straight language they say, bull, bullshit. Bullshit. This is a truly a bullshit. A lot of sheet here. Make it happen before the night comes. And then those people, they claim that Allah did not say they. He meant days, he meant a big bang, he meant mil millions of years or thousands of years. Do even Muslims read their books? So all of this will lead us to a conclusion that no way Allah, he is the one who created the earth and the heaven because the Quran confirmed that the earth was created first before creating a place for the earth. And we showed you all the reference. How is stupid the Quran can be more than this? And then you will find million videos made by Muhammadans claiming that the Quran is a book of science. And Allah, any Muslim you speak to him, he says, the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. Allah said to him, be, and he was. And then we find that Adam, man, he was suffering. And not only that, he was afraid that Allah is so slow. As you see, Adam, he noticed how slow Allah is. You see, if you think about it, Allah, he breathed into Adam. The breath came to his brain. If this is happening in two seconds, in two minutes, then Adam will not be worried. But Adam is worried. He could not move his feet. He wanted to get up before his soul reach his feet. But the funny is his tongue start talking and saying Alhamdulillah before his soul reach his tongue. You see, when an idiot, he writes a story, he's an idiot. The story is stupid, does not make sense. It sounds like an American movie, you know? talking about prisoner of war, and then you will find everybody of those prisoners wearing nice suits, and there's no dirt in it. Or Sylvester Stallone, in the scene before, he was shot in the right shoulder. In the scene after, the blood is in the left shoulder. Who cares, it's an American movie. Everything is possible with Allah. Right shoulder, left shoulder, who cares? It's an American movie. So this American movie doesn't make sense. It's a stupid. The writer is a stupid. The reporter is a stupid. And the one who follow it is a stupid too. Because this is nothing but a collection of stupidity, as you see. If Allah can create anything by B, then he should do it. And he should not use his hands. And the word B is a word. You see, B, God in the Bible says, let be light. Let be light. Light was. Okay. Did not take a billion years. Let be light. Light is there. Allah is using his hands. Is that because his B was not working? Is that because his batteries was off? Maybe the charger is not working. Because either you use your hands, and this is what the Quran is saying, that he created him by his both hands, or you use the word B. But B with both hands is a stupid B. Because if the B is working, then there's no need for the hands to work. So what is the, what is the mean of using saying B and he was? Obviously nothing happened. 
And if you go more in details, as you see, if you go to all the friends we showed you before, Allah created the earth and the heaven, two days for the earth, four days for the mountains, and then the sky. However, just one more last thing to make the pupu bigger. If we ask the Muslims, we showed you that Ibn Kathir, he confirmed, if you remember, in chapter 2, verse number 29, you remember? He confirmed that the earth created before the heaven, correct? The earth created before the sky. That is confirmed. We do not need to debate about this is what you must believe. All right. So the earth was created before the heaven, before the stars, before the cloud, before the seven skies. Remember in the Quran, even there are seven earth and seven skies. This is a different, a different story. Uh, why didn't you, uh, you are being hypocrite? Your Jesus say B when he was stopped the wind. I mean, this is really weird of you to say that. Well, the wind stopped. He did not use his hands. You see, the Muslims didn't, didn't understand what you are saying. They are coming from different galaxy. Look what this guy he said. Supposedly he got me busted now. Christian Prince, Arabian Prophet, you are being hypocrite. Why didn't your Jesus say be when they stop the wind? Well, how Jesus he stopped the wind? He used his hand? <laughs> what B? You see, B here is, is, is meant the, the ability of God without using hands, and, and that's it, uh, B, that's it. You see the stability? So I want to ask you, my friend, how Jesus, he stopped the storm? Do you know? Did he use his hands? In fact, he said B. He rebuked the wind. He ordered the wind. And the wind stopped. Your God could not. As you see, he claimed that he created Adam by saying B, and then we are talking about the same individual, the same person, the same object, because Adam is an object at that time, he is just a clay. Yet Allah, he needed to use his hands. In the top of that, he is using all the word Bs he have, but none of them is working. Then if we go and read the Bible, you will see that Jesus says, quiet, be still. He got up, he rebuked the wind, and he said to the waves, quiet, be still. You just did beat your prophet yourself. And this is in Mark, chapter 4, verse number 35 to 41. And now you just announce that Jesus is God. Because this is what God do. Jesus said to the man who cannot walk, stand up, walk. And he did that by saying, stand up, be. This is the order, stand up. So my friend, we have the true God you have tomato, potato. This is not even salad. It's not even tasty. It's a, just a joke. Your God, he keeps saying be and nothing happening, as you see, to the point he needed to use his hands. Now, if we go back here, Allah, he created the earth before he created the heaven, and this is confirmed in, by the Muslims. Read carefully. Allah, he started his creation by creating the earth. Then he made the heaven into seven heaven. Wonderful. So first we have earth. Then he starts walking in the heaven. But if we go to different verse in the Quran, we will find the opposite.
I hope I did not give you too much information and give you a headache. In chapter 79, if you go and read it from, you know, you can read it from verse number 27. If you want, you can read from the first verse number one, because Muslims, they might say to you, oh, you took it out of context. No, my friend, in the Quran, there's no context. There's nothing really connected. Here he's talking about the judgment day, and suddenly he speak about how, how he created the sky. Are you more difficult to create or the heaven he constructed? He raised it, he raised its mess, and you know, he makes it the portion. And he dimmed its light, so he made light. He made day, he made night. You see, when the Muslim they say day and night is equal, whatever, they are lying. He's talking about the day and the night, normal day, normal night. And the earth after that, he spread out. So here in this chapter, Allah, he finished the earth after he finished the heaven. Is that true? Read carefully. And after that, he starts working the earth. He made the earth flat. And after that, he produced the water and the, uh, the gray, the, the, the plant, the trees. And after that, the mountains. But this is totally the opposite from chapter 2, verse number 29, which says that it's Allah. It is he who created for you that or in earth. And then he went to the heaven. How stupid the author of the Quran. The funny is that Allah, he in the Quran himself, supposedly he said, if this is book made by other than Allah, which means other than God, you will find a lot of contradiction. But the whole Quran is stupid. It is he who created for you that all in the earth. And then he went to the heaven and he made them seven heaven. Well, so what this verse about here? He created here the heaven, and after that, after he finished the heaven, he made the day and the night. Now he starts working in the earth. If you go to chapter, a, a, a different chapter, this is an go to Fusilat, you will find the story getting even more stupid. Let us open it. <clears throat> And love. Chapter 41, verse number 10, verse number 9. Allah created the earth in two days. He placed mountains. The second part, after he created the earth in two days. What the second part? Step number two. He put mountains in the top of the earth, which is stupid. Then he made the measurement of all substance. And then, after that, he went to the sky, and the sky was a smoke. And he finished the heaven in two days. It's in front of you. The other verse saying the opposite. Allah, he finished the earth first. Here in this verse, sorry. He finished the sky first. He built it. He leveled it. He made day and night. And after that, he started working in the earth. <laughs> so my friend I hope that's all of you now you learn that Allah must be true God and true God he say be and it was yet nothing happened by saying be because his be is useless this remind me of a husband he, he said to his wife be quiet and the wife she never stopped talking <laughs> Be quiet. Be quiet. Nothing happening. Be quiet. You know, okay, you have to repeat three times. So, how this is can be God? Obviously, Allah cannot be the one who created Adam, neither the one who created the sky or the earth, neither he is the creator. 
and add, if I want to add more the garbage to the garbage, I mean, we will have a big pile. Already we have a big pile. But one more, I keep saying one more. I mean, one, I want to finish this video. One more. Is Allah the only creator? Muhammad, the silly Muhammad, he say Allah is the best of the creators. How the Muslim, they keep lying to us saying Allah is the only creator. And Allah in the Quran says he is the best of the creators. The Muslim, they say to you, don't you create bicycle? Oh, so Allah, he, he created bicycle too? And he, his bicycle is better than mine? All of us renew that the creator is the one who creates life. Even the verse itself exposed that. He's talking about how to made the baby. And not to forget that the baby is made in a very stupid way. According to Muhammad, the baby was uh, dead blood. And then the baby became a flesh. Uh, and this was the sperm. The sperm became a blood. And then the, 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 the blood became a lump, etc. You can read the verse. But, uh, and here, you know, like, you have to be careful. If you have your sperm, if somebody has his sperm, let us say, you leave it in the kitchen, in the counter, in the kitchen counter. You leave it, you come the second day, you will find the dead blood. And then the dead blood, if you leave it two days more, is going to be a lump. If you leave the sperm for more days, it's going to grow until you have a baby. You do not need a woman. Just leave it in the counter of the kitchen. Have you ever heard of a stupid God, he says, that the sperm became a blood and then the blood became a piece of meat? But this is a different topic, which is more funny. But look what it says here. The Muslim, they try to hide it. They say he is the best to create. But in Arabic, it says, Ahsanul Khaliqeen. He is the best of the creators. Change the translator. You don't, you don't, you can't trust the liars. The best of the creators. So if Allah is the only creator and he claimed to be the best of the creators, that's mean he's a fraud. Why? Because this is an exaggeration. It's not true. If I am the only creator, and then I say, I claim that I am the best of the creators. That's mean I'm lying, saying there's a creators when I am the only one. And I'm adding the word best to myself, giving myself certificate, which does not exist. Because either I am the only creator, which means I cannot be the best compared to creators. And the funny is, the Muslim, they say, you can't compare anything to Allah. And then we find Allah, he compare himself to other creators. And the Muslim, they claim that he's talking about creating bicycle. So Allah, he compare himself to the one who create bicycle. Yet you Muslim, you say it's haram to compare Allah to anything. And bicycle does not have a soul. Does not have a blood. What bicycle? The word the creator is the one who creates something out of nothing. So Allah, he feel, Islam feel, stupidity is amazing. And this is why my friend, I say, if a foolish man like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? Just think about it. In case thinking does not hurt your feeling, if a foolish man like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? I hope we have a good time. Don't forget to watch our short videos. We are making short video. It's not really short. I mean, I'm using my phone. So leave your comment. Uh, and let me see that people really, they are involved in learning, studying, and they can refute the Muslims even without me. At least some of you, they learned a lot already. So show us, show, show, show yourself how much examine you see. Uh, even when people, they get older, you know, they have to do some training for their brain. Otherwise, they will lose their memory, even their ability to speak. So you using your brain is a gift. Brain is a gift. Use it. Give it good training. Collect all this information. Think about it. Maybe you can come with something. I did not even think about it yet. Maybe you can come with something. I, well, nobody thought about it yet. And actually, this is what I did when I started studying this garbage.
Everybody around me says Islam is amazing. Prophet is amazing. Look at this amazing Quran. Then when I start reading, I notice that the amazing is stupid. They praise it too much, actually, because it's stupid, because nobody dare to say it's stupid. Like the same as the story of the king who is naked. Nobody want to say that the king is naked. Until a child who is innocent, he says, well, the king is naked. What, 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 you like it or not? So let us see how many of you is learning. Islam is very easy, not only to, deb to, to debunk. You, not, you do not need to debunk Islam. Islam is the debunk itself. Islam is the stupidity itself. A God who promised you virgins and vaginas and endless penis. That is a stupid. A God who promised a bracelet, couch, pillow, or wear a green silk. That is even more silly. I prefer to get out. Imagine you live for eternity wearing green silk. That's it, forever, green silk. I mean, go to eBay, go to Amazon, buy some t-shirt with different colors. No, because they are Arab and they are obsessed with the green, for this is the desert. Green clothing for eternity, as if we are in a surgery room. Well, good luck with the green. Let us go green. Let us go green and show the world that Islam is not green at all. Islam is a lie. Islam is foolish. Islam is against green. And uh, by the way, the Muslims, they claim the Prophet, he taught us to grow trees. Well, your Prophet used to burn trees. Your Prophet, he loved to burn trees. He loved to cut trees. What a tree. I mean, I mean the, those people, they lie. They love to lie in order to make their Prophet look good. Hmm? Uh, let us see where we can find some hadith. Uh, he cut the tree. He even he even dig the graves. Very evil man. Very, very evil. Read this hadith with me and let us laugh at the man who told the Muslim to grow trees. And the Prophet brother, he says to the women that she gave some water for a dog was thirsty, that heaven is for her. And he is the same person who ordered to kill all the dogs. <laughs> I mean, look how merciful he is. The women she gave water to the dog, Allah will give you heaven. And he is the one who ordered them to kill all the dogs. And as you see, he cut the trees, he cut them I mean, evil, very evil. You kill the people while you are cutting the trees. That's not even smart. You took their land already. This is your land now. You took it, you are a thief, you are a criminal. He killed the Jews, and now he is burning the trees. See how much hate and evil inside him. And the women, brother, and not only that, there's a hadith about the prophet, there's a Jewish guy, used to throw garbage on the prophet, house or door. That hadith does not even exist. And there's many videos about it in YouTube. But if you ask the Muslim, where we can find this hadith, nobody will show you. Just a challenge and say, where you can show me this hadith? It is a fraud, like their prophet. And he was a very good man to the point he wanted to kill all the dogs. Brother. And then when people just start complaining, he says, okay, don't kill the guardian dog, but kill all the dogs. Very evil. You see, dogs, they can sense evil person, wrong power, wrong energy. They have a special sense which a human don't have. Like a human, he can feel bad energy too, but for sure those animals, they have something we don't have. And obviously, he is the devil. Or the devil is inside him. That's why the dogs hated him, and he hated the dogs. And he ordered them to kill the dogs.
All of us, we know that dogs are very beautiful animals. Actually, they are a gift for mankind. Which one you prefer to have? To be alone in the jungle or you have a dog with you? You know the answer. So why would we kill them? And remember, we are talking about a time where dogs was not like for decoration. It was a necessity. We are talking about 1400 years ago. This prophet, he have a lot of enemies. Dogs, lizard. I mean, even lizard is the enemy of Allah. Can you believe it? Gaigo is the enemy of Allah. But well, this is a different story. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope we have a good time. And don't forget, please, to you know, uh, 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 make a comment, share the videos we make, and even the short ones. Because if you don't show me that you are really watching them, then that will make me wait longer before I go live again. I say, okay, did not even watch my previous video. But I want to go live. So if you want to encourage me really to come back, if you care, share the video. Let us see some of you. The view is not really important as a number for me, as much as accomplishment, as much we are sharing. As you see, we are not making, uh, we don't have commercial here, so one click will make money for me. No. One click more, one click less will not make money. We want people to know. We want our children to learn. We want the ignorant ones not to be ignorant. So the more we share, the more we fight for the sake of the truth. And the truth, and the only truth is, is our Lord the Messiah. He said, I am the truth. I am the way. I am the life. And then a foolish man, he says to you, Brother and sister, I trained the Christian to tell me where this is. I'm God worth me. And then we find that the God of Islam, he stole his name from Jesus. He claimed that he is the truth. He claimed that he is the resurrector. He claimed that he is the life. All of those are names stolen from Jesus. Your God is a thief. My Lord is a true Lord. And as our friend here, he said, how oh, Jesus, he stopped the storm. Jesus, he said to the storm, stop. And the storm obey. And this is what will happen to you in the day of judgment. Will he come with the glory of his angels and all those who fought against him, they will pay. Just wait for it. Time goes so fast. You're just born. You're just born yesterday, and now you are a growing old man. Time is so fast. It's faster than the sword. The foolish one is the one who think he can escape the Lord. He is coming. He is Lord of love, but with those who don't want his love, there is no mercy. He will give them what they deserve. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. This is your brother, Christian Prince. I serve you today humbly. And as you see, Allah cannot create even a mosquito, but Jesus can. Thank you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan 
urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>